Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial, as you saw in the intro, we will be doing a medieval hobbit house or hobbit hole as your awesome starter base in Minecraft 1.15.2 Now these are the blocks you will be needing for the outside area Some spruce planks, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, spruce trapdoors, spruce doors oak stairs, stripped oak logs, and some oak planks. Now, find a mountain. If you really like the seed, you know. Over there, there's a swamp, and a taiga, a, a awesome big forest, some mountains, birch forest, and then this awesome mountain area we will be building in. And a witch hut. So, if you want this seed, I'll give the seed in the description same as the coordinates for this little mountain now let's get started the first thing find a mountain and then place a spruce there or two spruce stairs like this then add a upside down stair behind both of them add a full block on top of them on top of the full blocks add some normal spruce stairs and then add upside down spruce stairs and then add some spruce slabs on the upside down spruce stairs and then a full block in the middle and what you can do you can decorate the full blocks with some trapdoors just like this and now you can destroy one two three four five six seven eight nine nine blocks in the middle and then replace this one or replace these two with some full spruce full blocks or spruce planks and then fill in these two lanes with some oak planks upside down oaks there a spruce door from inside and then replace some of the oak planks with some stripped oak logs and now when you have finished this we can get to the second part and that's the interior with the enchanting table and the storage room on the right and these are the blocks you will be needing for step number two the inside with the enchanting area on the left side and storage room on the right side so you will be needing stripped spruce logs spruce planks spruce stairs spruce trapdoors lanterns oak stairs oak planks, stripped oak logs, and some normal oak logs. Now when we get inside, you will dig a hole, 3 by 3 and then dig straight by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let me just check. Here. Yes. You when you get inside you take one, two, three, four, five, six blocks forwards and a three by three square. So the first thing we will start with is the floor. Replace the floor with some spruce planks, just like this, and then on these walls replace them with some stripped spruce logs and the roof as well at the top add some upside down spruce stairs and some spruce trapdoors just like this now we can count from the right side of the pillar one two three make another pillar here and here just like this And now, what you can do, you can destroy these three blocks, these three blocks, these three blocks, and these three blocks. It's night time. It will not be night time. Three, two, one, day. Ah, there we go. Now it's better. So. 
When you have dug out the area for the enchanting table, you want to replace the floor with some spruce spruce planks. Add another crossbeam here. Add some stairs and trapdoors, just like this. Add some stairs and trapdoors on this one as well. And then the storage room, you want to break these three blocks and these three blocks. And now what you can do, you have to replace, or you don't have to, you can replace the floor with some spruce planks. Add a these two blocks of the roof, you have to replace them with trapdoors so you can open the chests. And now when you have finished this, you can replace all the floors absolutely all the floors not floors walls all the walls and the roof in every single room that we just dug out replace the walls and the roof with some oak planks and now we have to add some we need to add some texturing in the walls with some stripped oak logs just like this and then this area left like this there you go now when we have this this finished you can destroy this we just built and you can add normal oak logs in the corners replace the middle block with a oak log and then add upside down not spruce, oak stairs and a lantern inside to make a awesome hobbit hole kind of light design. Now when we have finished this, you can pause the video and get the materials we need for the second floor and a big window that will be right there or right there. I'd say right there. Now let's get to the materials. Now it's time for part three, and that's the second floor. So for the second floor, we will be needing stripped spruce logs, spruce planks, spruce stairs, spruce trap doors, glass panes, any color, oak stairs, oak planks, stripped oak logs, and some normal oak logs. So if we go to this little stone area with it, we can do something like this. So replace the bottom one with normal spruce there, up by three, replace. Up by three, replace, up by three, replace, and up by three. And one more. And now you can dig a straight line until you hit the end. Now when you hit the end, you want to make a three by three square going back all the way to here. So now when we have the staircase done, we can get this, this, so pillars, count three, pillars, 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 just like this. Oh no, wait, I like this, uh, like this, no, no, no. I think like this should be fine. And now add one more layer down here. It was a square out of stripped spruce logs. This one we can just fill in. Fill in these two. Add the cross beam. Fill in these two and the roof. And then fill in these walls. Place these with some spruce planks for the flooring. And then replace these with some <clears throat> oak planks. Now when we have this finished, we can get the windows in here in the frame we did. 
And then what we can do, we can add the window design. So it's going to be something similar to this. So stair, stair, upside down, upside down, full block, full block, stair, stair, upside down, upside down. Uh, we need some slabs. Let's get some slabs, a full block. And then we want to add trapdoors on every single full block. We just added just like this. And now when we have this done, you can do some terraforming for the house. Maybe add like something here, make this look like this, add some blocks here. Just basically some terraforming. There it sounds. Okay. Now when you have finished the window outside, you can get back inside and you can decorate these walls. You can decorate these walls with few stripped oak logs. These as well. Maybe one here, one here. One more here. And now we need to get some lanterns. To make this light design so oak logs in each corner oak stairs replace this one with oak log and add the lightning in now you can get some spruce trapdoors and add this cross beam in here just like this and you can also get some oak fences and make a fence so nobody can fall down or fall through it so now when we have every single room done for the starter hobbit house we can start decorating it and this time i will decorate the house with you and these are the blocks you will be needing for stamp number four some bookshelves some looms some blast furnaces smokers chests enchanting table some red carpets, red bed, and some red wool. So, if we go inside, and if we add the chests on the right side for the storage area. So, like this. So now we can open all of these. Yes, we can. And then for the enchanting table, you want to replace these two rows of oak walls we did with some or maybe all of them replace all of them with some bookshelves and then add some sideways looms to get to give this build like an effect so there's empty bookshelves and then add the enchanting table inside and you can also add like a red carpet for your little house so replace some of the spruce planks with some red wool blocks and then just continue with some red carpet just like this now when we go to the second floor you can replace some of the blocks or spruce planks with some wool and then add in the red carpets at the bed inside and for this area we will be needing um crafting table a stone cutter and a grindstone you want to break out these blocks you want to put the crafting table or maybe you want to fill in this and then fill in this with the stripped spruce logs and then fill this with the flooring and then make the wall design with some stripped oak logs and some oak planks so now you can add the enchanting the crafting table grindstone stone cutter and then back here you can add the wall design here as well 
just like this. Perfect. Oh, sorry. Just like this. Replace some of the blocks here. Just like this. And then you can add the blast furnaces and the smokers. And also you can get some spruce stairs and spruce trapdoors and add this effect into. And now you can access everything. And also in this wall, in this wall specifically, you can add something very, very fun. So if you break these and fill in this with stripped spruce logs and then just fill in the whole room with some spruce planks and then decorate it with some stripped and you can add barrels inside here and you can also add a little cute scaffolding for some little better effect if you want to i'm gonna keep everything like barrels and what you can do you can add a flower pot with any type of flower, I'm gonna take this white one and a lantern. So, lantern here, flower pot here. And you can also add a heavy weighted pressure plate or iron pressure plate to make a little table design. And you can add this design here as well. So, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished with the awesome cute little cozy hobbit house in minecraft 1.15.2 so if you enjoyed this video or tutorial subscribe to this channel for more awesome content like this video to show me some support thank you so much for watching and i see you guys in the next tutorial good bye